Hi guys, Ronnie here. Quick recap from uh, Nationals weekend. As you may have known, I have raced the Hungarian Nationals this year and this weekend, on Friday, it was the individual time trial and on Saturday it was a road race, basically a criterium style a road race on a 15 km lap, same lap as we used on the time trial. The whole course was based in a town basically and uh, around it 15 kilometers pan flat completely pan flat so not really my kind of terrain there wasn't even wind on any of the days so it was very fast in both the TT and uh, the race and the roads were actually pretty nice as well so uh, extremely good compared to previous races so how did I do? Well, uh, this race was very, very far from where I live. Well, comparatively, of course, if you live in a bigger country, then it's, it will be nothing for you. But for me, it's quite a distance. So I had a bit of a problem with that. And uh, the organization of the race was a bit sketchy because since the perimeter of the town basically was closed off, we, could, uh, we couldn't really get uh, to the starting point. So. I almost missed my start on the TT, I was in quite a hurry, no warm up, no anything, just unpacked uh, the, the things from the car, uh, got on the bike, uh, couldn't even calibrate my quark, my Garmin was acting up so I didn't know my power again. Uh, so it was a bit sketchy and I didn't think I can really make it, but nevertheless I set off. So I went basically just by feel and heart rate and the heart rate was 185 average so I just pushed as hard as I can for the whole course there were some times that I felt I needed to back off a bit but there were some corners so uh, I could do that in the break, uh, break distance so eventually I managed to come first in amateur men's and my time was enough for around 4th or 5th in the elite men's so uh, I did quite well I also got my uh, national championship jersey you may have already seen that uh, on Instagram where I posted it immediately after winning so I'm really happy with this uh, people were quite surprised because obviously you wouldn't bet uh, on a 60 kilo rider to win a pan flat time trial but Luckily my equipment uh, was on point apart from the Garmin failure and my legs were probably quite good as well. I think I had to average about 300 watts for that. It definitely felt it was about 300 so happy with that. Uh, then on Saturday the road race uh, was the same course as I've said. Uh, this time it was 5 laps, so that made the race around 50, uh, 75 kilometers long, which is very very short and the pace was very high. I tried to attack multiple times, but since there weren't any hills to separate the, a pack or a group, there wasn't any wind, to, I wasn't able to uh, tear the group uh, apart no matter how hard I tried and then in the fourth lap I got a very good opportunity I attacked and went on solo and I managed to keep that for well it was 20 k's to go I managed to keep that quite long uh, for quite a long time I got a gap of around a minute but I was, I was really hurting I was uh, riding at around <clears throat> 400, 350, 300 watts really hard but uh, around two or three kilometers from the finish the bunch really started to re reel in and put the pace high so that's when they caught me and I was completely cooked uh, of course from that effort I couldn't really contest the sprint but it uh, doesn't really matter it wasn't my kind of race and I decided to go all or nothing on that since I already had one jersey in my pocket so they didn't really work out but never mind we just uh, keep learning from here uh, equipment wise I used of course my regular bikes uh, 
for a speed concept for the PT with the 808 NSW and a super line disc. Mm, same setup I have shown you earlier. It was uh, very calm and very fast, so it worked fine. And for the road race, I was planning to put the 808s in there. It might have suited the course, but I was afraid that the wind will uh, come in at around noon that's when we raced so i didn't really go for it uh, it might have helped in the breakaway but it was what it was uh, quite happy with the end result uh, overall so this was basically how my race went uh, then we got home today on sunday i did one more ride just to keep that endurance going basically but i feel i'm in quite a good shape right now I also got some new kit, uh, which I'm going to show you in detail in next videos. Uh, new stuff from Silka, some tools, pump, uh, but more on that later on. Okay, so this is how my race went. National jersey in the time shot, so that's nice. And next week uh, there is no racing. For me, I'm going to have a bit of a hard week in training. I definitely need to work on my sprints and my attacks uh, but afterwards there, there will be some races which are going to be a bit more favorable so a bit more climbing, a bit more technical terrain so hopefully I can manage to get a good result on those but of course I'm going to be informing you uh, through this vlog of mine. Uh, if you know, want to know more about my bikes, my bike setup that I used to uh, race, uh, some technical tips how to make your bike faster, then don't forget to tune into my channel and subscribe. It's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.